When I was a kid, I used to hear this saying all the time. It goes, uh, whiskey's for drinking, water's for fighting. The Colorado River and the tributaries that make up her basin define the American West. In Native American traditions, people consider this the heart of the universe. Water in the West is our most valuable resource. It's like 250 miles away where we get our water from. I mean, even the water commutes to LA, come on. <laughs> water, which is so precious, doesn't come like it used to. This whole notion of the American dream, there really isn't water conservation or any type of environmental anything. With the Colorado River no longer reaching her delta and greater demand looming, perhaps it's time to embrace a new water ethic. For me, I could say water is love. One of the conditions is that we were going to do it differently or we weren't going to do it at all. The way we considered our water consumption is to improve upon the resource that's delivered to us. That's where we should be putting our attention, into our own natural landscape right here. All your problems, they disappear when you're out here on the water. It renews you. It's time that the river is famous not for the dams, but because the water is flowing all the way to the Gulf of California. That would be great. The question remains, can restoring a mighty river's connection to the sea open new frontiers of conservation and cooperation? There's beginning to be hope.